Hi, my name is Ryan, and I'm one of the developers of SDSX. SDSX is a drum machine for iOS that makes it fun and easy to program beats. SDSX is designed to be intuitive and also powerful. Today, I'm going to show you how to use MIDI to send information from SDSX to another device, and also the other direction where we'll receive MIDI information from an external device. Let's get started. To do this, you're going to need a lightning to USB connector, or if you have an iPad, you're gonna to wanna to use a USB-C connector. You're also gonna need some kind of USB cable. And here, I'm just gonna use the USB cable that came with my OP1. Now, right now, I have the audio of SDSX running out of my phone and into the OP1 so we can hear it. But maybe what I wanna do is use the keys on the OP1 to trigger sounds in SDSX. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I am gonna to need to disconnect my phone so we won't see, I'm sorry, we won't hear any sound, but we will see the pads light up in response to the notes being played on the keyboard. So here we go. So I'm gonna take my USB cable, I'm gonna connect it up, connect it to my phone, and connect it to my OP1. There we go. Now the OP1 is now connected, but what I need to do is activate the OP1 as an input source. So I'm gonna tap on this gear to go to the settings menu and I'm gonna scroll down to where I see the MIDI input settings. I'm gonna tap on this sources cell and I'll see a list of all the devices that are connected to my phone. I can see the OP1 MIDI devices there and I'm gonna tap on it to activate it. Now, we do have this MIDI receive switch enabled which means now that any MIDI sent on the selected sources will be received by the pads. So let's try playing some notes on the OP1. Okay, so I'm hearing the sound of the OP1, so let's just turn that off. So I can see that as I press keys on the OP1, I am triggering pads on the iPhone. What if I wanna make it so that instead of this first key, which defaults C to the lowest pad, what if I wanna use this lower key here? To do that, I'm gonna tap the unlock button and I'm gonna go into edit pad mode. I'm gonna scroll down and at the bottom, I'll see the MIDI settings. Right now the MIDI receive note is set to 60. Let's change that. Here you can see I have the options to enable MIDI receive, uh, set the channel, which is set to infinity right now or omni mode. So any channel will be received by the pad. Let's just adjust this note down a few steps. If this is 60, we're gonna have 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53. So let's set that to 53. Let's exit out. And it might be kind of a pain to go through and manually adjust all the other pads. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna long press and I get the option to map the MIDI settings. What that's gonna do, it's gonna map the MIDI notes chromatically up through the pads. So let's hit okay. Let's exit out and lock up our pads. Now, if everything worked correctly, we should see that this note triggers the lowest pad and these notes trigger the higher pads. So let's do that. All right. All right, easy. Let's do the next thing, which is to use the sequencer in SDSX to trigger a drum kit on the OP1. So I've got this drum kit that I really like, my OP1. And I'd love to use a sequencer in SDSX to play that drum kit. So to do that, we need to go to our settings and go down to the MIDI output. We can see a list of our destinations and let's select the OP1 MIDI device. Now, I'm also gonna to need to make sure that the pads are sending note numbers in a correct way. 
So I actually have a kit saved that has the OP1 uh, samples or MIDI notes that I want to send. So it should be that easy. Let's try this out. All right. Okay, uh, better not have too much fun. Got to continue with the tutorial. So let's go to the sequencer and let's see that it can send MIDI. So let's select the kick and add some kick drums. Add a snare. that the OP1 is generating sound. All right, that is super fun. Uh, before I go, let me just show you some of the note settings that I made. So I did have to go in and adjust these MIDI send settings. I have uh, these notes being sent on the first channel and the lowest note is 53 because I want that to correspond to this key right here. Anyways, hope this is helpful and that you can use SDSX with your external devices to find many new creative ways to make music.